Hello friends, welcome back to Creative Kiosk. Today let's go on a short trip to a bead factory somewhere in Karen in Kenya. They do handmade beads and pottery. I will take you to their story in Karen today. This will be a two part video so please do not forget to watch both the parts of this video. They say you never really know a woman until you have seen her jewelry collections. Isn't that true? Before we reach that place, let me tell you a story about how Kazuri started. The founder was Lady Susan Wood, who was born in 1918 in a mud hut in African village. Her parents were from the missionaries of England. They sent her to England for her further studies. There she got married to Michael Wood, a surgeon, and in 1947 they moved to Kenya. In 1975, Lady Wood started a small workshop with just two people, two local ladies, who were in need of money to run their families. And that's how Kazuri Bead Factory started. And now it has more than 100 people or ladies working there. They're basically catering to single mothers, HIV positive women and other disadvantaged women who cater for their families upbringing. They're uniquely built beautiful pieces of jewelry and most of all they're made of clay. Kazuri means small and beautiful in Swahili. They produce a wide range of handmade beads, painted ceramic jewelry. These jewelry shine with African colors. They are made to international standards and there's a heart and soul of each of these ladies put into making those beads. They are sold worldwide. You know these beads do not break so easily. Each purchase from them helps a disadvantaged woman. Most women are with Kazuri for more than 10 years, 20 years or even more than that. Most of all, they are made in Kenya. Encourage local craftsmen and artists always. They are authentically Kenyan pieces. This factory tour turned out to be too big for a video. So I had to break the video into two parts. Please bear with me on that and do watch the part two of this video. and to make pottery mm. and the clay comes from Mount Kenya oh. yeah it's about 150 kilometers from here to Mount Kenya mm. so when it comes they first mm. break it into pieces mm. and after that they mix the clay with the water over there mm. after they mix it we have to wait for the clay to settle down then we have to seal the clay mm. After that, we have a pipe which connects from the drums and goes to the compressor machine over that, that side. Mm -hmm. okay. So why specifically Mount Kenya soil? We found from the, mm. the founder, mm. started with the mm. clay from there. So mm. when we came, uh, the lady who took the company after the mm. founder passed away, mm. she continued taking the clay from Mount Kenya also. Mm. Yeah, we know it's the special one. Oh. in making the pots mm. yeah so some of these are the leftovers after making pots oh. beads whatever okay. they trim the edges mm. so they bring it here and then we recycle them again and use them again mm. so the pipe connects from the drum come this way to the compressor machine mm. and then this is where we squeeze the water out mm -hmm. from the clay mm -hmm. by pressing mm -hmm. and after pressing the water comes from down you can see it's mm -hmm. dropping there mm -hmm. and the dropping might take maybe one to two weeks oh. to make the clay dry mm -hmm. after it is dry mm -hmm. we take the clay from here mm -hmm. and then bring it over that side to the blue machine, the green machine, two of them, they are the same. Mm. And the work of the two is to squeeze the air out from the clay, mm. making sure that there is no bubbles mm. when making the pots and making the pottery. This is to avoid explosion when we make the pottery. Mm. Yeah. 
So from here after the clay processing, now we come to the making beads mm -hmm. and making pottery between them. Hello, Mama. Hello. Mm -hmm. She's my dear. Mm -hmm. So this is the clay now after the processing. Mm. You can feel it. it's a bit full but cold. Mm. Yeah. So here it's where we start making the shapes mm. according to the orders, making bids for orders, exports. Mm. And this is after we receive the orders from our distributors. Mm. It's when the ladies are given the shapes they're supposed to make. And who designs that? Meaning this oh, is the, supposed to be this? The owner of the company, she's oh, the one who designs. The one. But also we have a catalog mm, okay. where they go through and select the okay. designs they want. Okay. the size of the clay mm. so first Uniform. they measure the size to make them mm. the same size mm. yeah Everything you can see, it's handmade. Mm -hmm. This is how it comes out. It comes out this way. Okay. We call them bisque. So mm -hmm. when we take these ones to the glazing mm -hmm. department, mm -hmm. the glaze will stick. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are going to see them okay. on the other pottery. Mm -hmm. The yeah. pottery is on this side. Light. No light. Okay. There you go. And he's the one in charge of the pottery. Hello, my friend. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Okay. Yeah, this is the handle. Oh. oh, for the cup. Yes. Okay. These colors changes to this color, mm -hmm. and now. 
Stay tuned for part 2 of this video. There is a continuation video following immediately after this in a day or two. Please stay tuned for that.